Right, what's up guys? Welcome back. So if you if you notice this is our fourth video, you might notice a little something different. We changed the name of the channel. Just one word actually. It was um Turtle Lair Collectibles. And now it is Turtle Cave Collectibles, which I like better, by the way. But um we changed it because it was too similar to something else. So, I changed it. I like it better. Hopefully you guys will like it better as well. It is what it is, right? But uh, today, video number four, we have Slam Dunkin' Don from Super 7, right? So we'll crack into this guy. We already did the other two. Um, we did Wingnut and Screw Loose. It's already up. Um, and we did Scumbug, which is already up. Really good figures. Uh, Super 7 doing a really good job. Like I said in the videos, if you watch them, I'm happy. I mean, I think if you guys get them, you'd be happy as well. They're good figures. I mean, that's it. I mean, all in all, good figures, right? And over here, I don't know if you can see. A little sneak peek. I don't know if you guys are subscribed or not, but my wife and I actually have a channel as well. And it's called People of Earth Toy Reviews. And we got these coming up. Really cool pins. Is that a box? I ordered these from the UK, actually. I don't know why. I guess they were only in stock there. But they came pretty quick. I mean, I got faster shipping here than I did with some of the places uh, <laughs> in the States, man. So, not going to... I'm going to complain about that. And then we also have these coming down as well. So look out for these videos. And we got the mystery minis, the Funkos, Turtles. So those will be cool. All right. You can go over and check out that channel if you feel like it. It's more, you know, more kid stuff. Uh, kid friendly, you know. So if you got kids, family, go over and check out that channel. You know, support my wife and I and we have fun together. It's nice. It's a, it's a fun time, you know? All right, so let's take a peek at this guy here. Some Slam Dunkin' Don. So I did have this as a kid, but I had, I remember him being red. And I remember him having a 23, right? I guess because Jordan was so popular at the time, maybe, Am I, I guess, right? Yeah, I guess it would have to do with Jordan. But uh, I don't know, maybe it's me. That, that figure's cool, it's nostalgic. The 84 makes sense, right? Like, that makes a lot of sense. 84, Turtles, 84, started in 84. I mean, that makes more sense than 23, doesn't it? Or am I wrong? I'm sure there's a lot of people who are like, I love the 23, yeah, it's cool. I just think 84 matches up with the Turtles. I don't know about the white outfit. White's cool, but I guess we'll, guess we'll check it out, right? See how it looks. Did you guys pick this up? Let me know. Curious. Yeah, it looks it looks really good. Again, paint looks good. Everything looks good on them. Man. I like the shoes. <laughs> the shoes throw you off there. It looks like he has four feet. He's only got two two turtle feet. Alright. Let's take a peek at this guy here. So it doesn't look like he has a ton of accessories compared to some of the other ones, but he's got a little bit bigger accessories it looks like. So he's got a basketball set up here. He's got a sewer. That's pretty hefty. So I'm guessing that's the base right there. City sewer. Let's get some light back here for you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. There we go. City sewer. All right. Got that guy. Let's move this box out of the way here. All right. I'm still trying to figure out like a whole lighting setup here. You know. I'm I'm terrible at all this stuff. Just to be honest with you guys, I don't I don't know. Computers. All that stuff. Trying to figure it out, you know? Lighting. Never thought I'd have to worry about lighting in my life. Now I worry about lighting. You never know. Let's 
never uttered the phrase, does the lighting look good? <laughs> Until recently, you know? Let's see. I'm only out down. Now, this is controversial for a lot of people as well, but Donnie is my favorite turtle, so. I don't know about you guys. A lot of people like Mikey and Raf. Some people like Leo. Not a lot of people like Donnie. Maybe that's why he's my favorite. I don't know. I mean, you gotta love Donnie. Without him, the other guys would be out of luck, that's for sure. They'd have nothing to drive around in. No tech. Nothing. Alright, so here's the hoop. Right? It's like a broken trash can. And then there's like a back piece. Here's the backboard. And these just connect together. There's like a little peg hole there. It doesn't feel secured, but I guess it's in there. Also, there's a grip on the back of the backboard. I guess he can use it as a shield. Alright. And then his bow staff. Let me show that. His bow staff looks good. It's got like a purplish colored tape on there. That actually plugs into the base here in the city sewer. And then they all connect together. There's another little peg there. Pretty neat. That's a good idea. I dig it. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Now we got ourselves a basketball hoop. Check it out. Right on. Stands up. All right. Gotta get Donnie out himself. Donnie. Uh, I'm play ball. Come on, dude. There he is. Alright. There's Donnie. Okay. I love the expression, man. The, the tongue sticking out of his mouth is hilarious. That is a good one. That's <laughs> great. I, I gotta say, I like the matte looking finish on this one. It really looks good. It's like a matte dull finish and it, it I, I don't know maybe it's me I feel like that always looks higher quality than a shiny paint job especially when it comes to like toys and figures it looks it looks nicer right his teeth are painted his tongue's painted his eyes are painted he's looking really good he's got the Donatello 84 on the back Donatello that's nice. I wonder if they'll do a variant in a different colored uniform, like if we'll ever get, I don't know if we'll get the 23, I'm sure they probably have to sign off on that or get the rights to it or something, but who knows? Who knows? That's probably why we don't have it now, but you never know. And he's got the knee pads, the shell knee pads that are like a purple color. They look really nice. I like them. I like the color. He's got the elbow pads, same thing. Wrist guard, same thing. It's a, it's a different colored purple with him. It's like a like a darker matte colored purple. Like his bandana. Let me see if I got another Donnie. I do. Let's check him with his other Super 7 counterpart here. Let me just reach up and grab this guy. This is why I like having a collection right behind me. Right? So now we could just reach up and grab him. Yeah, it's slightly different, right? And this guy, you could tell he's got like a sheen to him. No sheen on this guy. So they're definitely different colors, different paint jobs. And there's the colors of the masks and the elbow pads. So it's a different purple altogether. Hmm. Yep. Yep. Completely different. And then there's his kicks. He's got his turtles on. They got a T on them. Right? I'll tell you what, man. I'd rock these. I'd be wearing these every day. Let me get my tees. And they got like a shell. Like the old school pumps. Right in the front. And you just... Now you're ready to play ball. You could jump ten times higher. I mean, that's a proven fact. If any of you guys had the old school pumps, you know, if you pump those up, five on each side, you could jump five times higher. Right? Everybody knew that back then. K 
kids today are just missing out. So, yeah, I'm digging it, man. Let's see what we got for accessories, and then we'll go over articulation. So we got another head. This one's just like an open mouth, no tongue. I can block that out there. That looks good. Yep, I like that. And we got a basketball. A nice basketball. I mean, it's really good. It's texture. It's got a hole in it there. I'm guessing one of the hands. Probably that one. Yep, that one right there. So it looks like there's a peg on the hand and on the ball. Oh, that's nice. Yep. So now the the ball is pegged right onto the hand. That's cool stuff. And then you got like a gripping hand, I guess, for the bow staff. Right? And then you have your other gripping hands. So you have a right and a left. Okay, no fists. Basketball Donnie is not down the fight. Just to play basketball, that's it. What we got? You gotta have this. Come on. If you don't have a pointing finger, you're missing out. <laughs> Come on, you're missing out. That's either the booger picking finger, the butt scratching finger, or the that guy over there. You finger, you know? Hopefully it's that not the latter. And we've got so we got some glasses. I don't even know, do turtles have noses? I'm questioning myself. Can he pick his nose? Things that you wonder. Hmm. I don't see any nostrils. And we have a pair of yellow like sports goggle glasses right so you could stick those on his head honestly I'm not a fan I get why they did it right it's just the original toy I think he looks better without them honestly but there he is with them I mean it goes with the new Donnie nowadays Donnie always has glasses right new movies got glasses so I mean, it makes sense, I guess. You could put them with the glasses. All right, let's see. Let's check out this basketball here real fast. I just want to see what it looks like on his hand. That he's coming in. Donnie's coming in hot. Oh, he's going to dunk it. Let's see. Yep, it works. That's cool. So if you had like a flight stand, you could have him set up where he's just jamming. I don't know if people remember that back in the day. Can you jam it? <laughs> you dunk it? Or jam it? <laughs> All right, let's see here. All right, so articulation. We'll leave the basketball in his hand because it looks cool. So he's got arms that go up. About 90, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. You push it. You got rotation all the way around, obviously. You got a bicep swivel, which is awesome. Works really good. A little bit of light. And then we have elbow, single jointed elbow. That's it. I mean, less than 90. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I wish he had a little bit more range in the elbow, but. That's about as far as he goes. And then he has wrist swivel and hinge, right? That works well, no problems there. No looseness as well, like I was saying with the other Super 7s. That was the main issue that I always had with their QC was loose hips, legs. They really seem to have fixed that. I mean, you got a little bit, but I mean, I wouldn't say it's anything even noticeable, right? And then here at the waist, he's got his little twist you can do like a little little shimmy shimmy and then his legs go all the way out full-on splits there he is full-on splits right nice and then we have that a single joint yep single jointed elbow so single jointed elbow 
and single jointed knee. Look at that. So that's about as far as his knee goes. Less than 90. Right? No rotation at the knee. And then no rotation at the calf. But he has his hinge back pretty far. It's not bad. Hinge forward. Decent amount. And then his rocker. Rocker's great. No complaints. I mean, would I like to see a double jointed knee and elbows? Yeah, absolutely. Especially on this guy. Like he's he's an athlete, right? He's he's playing basketball. But does it really affect the figure? Not really. No, not really at all. I mean, he still looks great. You're gonna pose him up. He's able to do what you want him to do. I'm sure most people are gonna have him jamming it, <laughs> dunking the ball. You know. You get him up there, you get his little feet bent, and he's just flying like uh, Donatello MJ, you know? Like he's in uh, Space Jam. Yep, I like it. I gotta say, I'm, I, I can't say it enough, the Super 7 wave, I guess this is 9 now, right? Wave 9. This is really good. I, I am, I'm very happy with this wave. I should have got Zach, and I probably will pick him up. I didn't have him as a kid, like I said before, and if you watch any of the other videos. I didn't have him as a toy when I was little, so I didn't get him this time. And I kind of wish I did now, because these are really good. I'm very happy with these. And there's the alternate head. Which is really cool as well. I like the expression. I again, I just the matte paint, plastic, whatever. I don't know if it's, I guess it's just the matte plastic. It looks really good. It makes the figure stand out way more than that shine on there, right? So, let me know what do you guys like. You think they're good? Did you get them? Did you, did you have them as a kid? What do you guys think? That's it for Donnie, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for coming and hanging out in the uh, turtle cave. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Okay.